Hey, what's good team? Happy weekend. Just on my way uh, to the studio this morning to run some uh, clients through the uh, playoff uh, fitness test, which is the end of challenge uh, fitness test that we that we do. It, it's always an exciting time, a nervous time for those who are partaking in it. It's a great opportunity for us to see, um, you know, just how much uh, people have followed things over the last six and a half weeks. It gives us a good gauge on, uh, you know, who really pushed themselves uh, in, in not just their training, but you know, with the nutrition and their, their journey the last six and a half weeks. And, and it also shows, you know, who took shortcuts, who cut corners, and um, it, it, it's evident in the in the results. Now, the great thing about things like this is that. Even though the challenge, the challenge uh, that we run is only six and a half weeks, you know, we've got the whole year to get things right. Um, so we're always playing the long game, but uh, when the challenges come around, it's a, it's a short, intense time to kind of dial in and focus on exactly what it is that we're trying to achieve. So about to go meet up with the rest of the coaching team to go check this out, uh, share that excitement and joy with uh, with everybody, really, because. Um, those that are completing it today, uh, you know, they, they sacrificed a lot over the last six and a half weeks. So it's a it's a really, really important time to uh, to to remind them that you know it's exciting and it's it's uh, it's a lot of hard work that's been put in. So let's go check it out, team. So today we're going to be running playoffs, which is a fitness test for F45 challenges uh, to get a gauge on where people have uh, started to where they currently are post-challenge. So we're at the back end of the challenge now. We're going to get everybody's results, run them through this 10-minute fitness test. How it works is 10 stations. They're going to work for 45 seconds on, 15 seconds of rest, one lap through each of the stations. And uh, yeah, let's get, some, uh, let's get some results to see all the hard work that everybody's been putting in over the last six and a half weeks. Let's go. I'm waking up to ash and dust. I wipe my brow and I sweat my wrist. I'm breathing in the chemicals. I'm breaking in, shaping up, then taking out. You came straight to uh, Airport 5 Hastings to say we need a gym to train at six and a half weeks ago. How have you felt the uh, the changes have happened over the last six weeks? Incredible. I mean, like, it's probably nothing like I expected it was going to be. The community and the support that we've had throughout this whole time has just been yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. Recommend Airport 45. <laughs> yeah, definitely a great yeah. way to train, great environment. Mm. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Yeah. So we've got uh, Kylie and Anna here who both completed Challenge 30 after our uh, playoff fitness test. How did it go, ladies? Yeah, really good. Yeah. yeah, Anna, what were some of the improvements that you made? Um, little gains, but big gains in my eyes. Like, yeah. just, just like about five extra on each one, which is like massive. Are you bragging about it? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, good stuff, <laughs> it should be. Kylie, what about you, mate? What are some of the improvements you made? Well, I just learned a count of fives or tens has made a massive difference, so I just do five or ten, take it like a two second break and keep going, and I've made like Anna, just those small gains, five or so on each. Each, each size is massive. Fantastic, ladies. Great work. All right, so we got Laura. Congratulations on finishing Challenge 30, the after playoffs as well. So fitness test, how did we go? Uh, it was hard, but it was good doing the second time round. We got some improvements from, uh, from the start? So. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. What, was, uh, what was the biggest improvement that shocked you the most? Um, just being able to keep going for longer, I think, not give up so quickly. Cool. And what about in the challenge? What's been the biggest thing that stood out for you that, that you've seen improvements in yourself? Um, I guess coming like five times a week and trying to do better with my eating. It's a lot easier if you're trying to work towards something. Yeah. What have been the benefits of that? 
I guess like more energy, getting up, starting the day, nice and fresh, getting it done early. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, thank you so much for joining us at Challenge 30. Thank it's you. It's been so much fun. We, we, uh, we can't wait to see your scam results. All right, Sarah. Congratulations on finishing Challenge 30. Um, tell me, tell me, man, how you feeling right now? You got the playoffs done? You got the scans to do on Wednesday? Hey. Oh, I'm not too keen on the scan. <laughs> But I smashed that playoff though. Yeah? yeah. What, what's been the biggest improvement for yourself? Patio. Patio? Is there, is there anything in particular that stood out for you over the challenge? I know we touched base just the other day. I'm talking about some uh, some improvements that you made within yourself. What, what's been what's been the you know when you look back now at the last six and a half weeks? What, what's been the biggest standout for you? Um, I couldn't scroll. Sprawl. I can sprawl for days now. You can sprawl now. now. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't burpee. The first ever burpee I did, I faced yeah. mine. But I can burpee now. What, what, was the, what was the goal that you set for yourself right at the start? To walk through the doors. Yeah. <laughs> and then to get through my first class. Yep. And now I'm on 27 classes later. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a bit overwhelming. Goes to show you just get it done, eh? That, that you start making progress. There's days that I turn up and I just, I don't want to be here, but you know, really drove here, I'm here, might as well do it. Might as well get it done. Finish the classes. That's the attitude, man. Fantastic. Well, you go and enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll see you Wednesday for the scans. Great job. All right, we've got the champ champ here, Mr. Gareth Burke. Congratulations, man. Challenge 30, all done and dusted. Thank you, bro. Now, uh, yeah. for those of you who don't know, you're, uh, you're heading in for a hip uh, replacement? Yeah, 31st of March, D-Day. D-Day? Uh, yeah. How's, how's the, uh, the pre-op uh, work that we've, uh, that we've set you on? Amazing. I've been able to keep my weight down. Doctors, surgeons, they're all happy. Uh, right mentality. Keep my, my mental focus with, through my training. And uh, yeah, just ready for this op. Weight's down, I'm fit, I'm ready to go. Yeah, looking forward to the future. Fantastic, man. How have you found Challenge City? Uh, in and amongst the environment with everybody else, yourself? Yeah, uh, so it's my third third or fourth challenge. I think it's the third one. Um, yeah, it just, just keeps me focused, keeps my diet on point. Uh, my training's on point every day. It's a new workout. Uh, you just don't know what you're expecting, and it, it's good. I keep guessing. Uh, keep making gains, keep making little improvements mentally, physically. We all fluctuate, but... I just managed to, yeah, managed to stay, stay the course this time. I'm, I'm happy and looking forward to uh, this fucking operation. Your love and I'm next to you. Your love and I'm the matter I'm next to you. Your thing gotta get here, sitting next to you. But after all I've said, please don't forget. 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 Please don't Please don't forget. 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 Please don't That's a wrap. It's uh, been a successful day. Uh, pretty stoked with everybody's efforts so far. Um, some amazing, amazing efforts from uh, some clients, man. Uh, some things that uh, I don't think they even knew that they were capable of achieving those sort of things. Uh, when uh, for some of these people, you know, they've never exercised in an exercise facility uh, ever or been a part of a community where um, you know they do this sort of stuff so to see that they're now fitter healthier happier versions of themselves is uh is, yeah is a real real accomplishment and um you know th this sort of stuff can't happen without our coaching team so the amazing coaches that we have here uh, not just taking days like this but uh running through the uh, the whole six and a half weeks uh throughout the year uh, on a regular basis through all, our, through all of our classes is uh is, is the reason why you know, these people get the results they do so Mate, uh, all in all, fantastic work.